Good morning, Upland High School. My name is Andy Alamon, and welcome to your weekly news broadcast. Our first story today is about Earth Day. Earth Day is the only holiday celebrated by every country, every faith, and every race on the planet. This year, Earth Day is April 22nd, and we need to brainstorm ways that we can celebrate here at Upland High School. Please come to a planning meeting on Wednesday, February 26th in the lower library immediately after school at 1.45 p.m. All students and staff are welcome. Join climate activists all around the world in helping to save the planet. For more information, please contact Mrs. Siegel in room H187. Thank you, Andy. I'm Brandon Mendoza here for UTV Sports, bringing you recent news and upcoming events for this week. In recent news, at the California Winter Championship, Kaylin Harris jumped 20 to 4.5 inches in the long jump and set a new record on her third attempt, breaking the previous record of 20 to 1. Namir Hemphill also broke the triple jump record with a leap of 48 to 9. Other action at the Winter Sports Championships include gold in men's 4 by 200 meter relay by the team of Kai Graves, Blanks, Namir Hemphill, Christopher Coates, and Marcella Watson. Their time of 1 minute and 29.15 seconds is the third fastest in school history. Some upcoming events this week are boys varsity baseball. They have a total of three games this week on February 26th, 28th, and 29th. Two games are away, one is at home. Girls varsity softball has three games as well on the 24th, 26th, and 27th. All three are at home. Co-ed varsity wrestling also has three games this week uh, on the 27th, 28th, and 29th. This time, all away. For more information on upcoming events and sports news, please visit uhsathletics.org. That is all for this week in sports. I'm Brandon Mendoza. Back to you, Andy. Seniors, please come check the spelling of your name for your diploma before school, after school, or during lunch. It will be posted on the guidance office windows through this Friday the 28th. If you see an error, bring your birth certificate or passport to change the spelling into the records office. A copy of your birth certificate is also fine. Please see Mrs. Marquez if you have any questions. Thanks, Andy. We've had very interesting weather these past weeks as it's been fluctuating from the cold lows to the warm highs. According to weather.com, we are starting this week off with a relatively sunny 75 degrees. Then Tuesday, we won't see any large differences with it 73 degrees and sunny. Wednesday, however, will be quite different, showing that it has a 10% chance of precipitation, and it will be around 72 degrees and finally cloudy. Thursday being 71 degrees and cloudy as well, and ending off the week with Friday at a sunny 74 degrees. And why are we seeing this sudden change of temperature on Friday? Well, two reasons really, that being the density of the air and it's starting to cre increase the pressure of the air. So we start this weekend off with a nice 73 degrees on Saturday and also a nice 72 on a sunny Sunday. Now we can go to our chart here, you know, it says January it hasn't been significantly colder, but we definitely feel that rapid change of the approaching spring weather. And you can also see from March to April, that's where the weather will really start to ramp up. So definitely be prepared for that. But also precipitation gets even lower throughout the months and is especially shown in March. And there's a reason for this. It's something called the jet stream. And it's what this means is warmer weather is coming from the north and south in different parts of the country. I'm Caden Bruce and back to you. An upcoming event will be Western States Jazz Festival, which will be on February 28th and 29th at the Highlander Auditorium for only $7. At the event, you can purchase food and drinks with all proceeds going to the band and color guard program. Come watch our jazz ensemble and stage band perform alongside with the special guest, multi-Grammy winning artist, John Diversa. This week's community news brings an update to the currently contested warehouse proposition in Upland. To those who don't know, Bridge Development Partners proposed the plans for a possible warehouse to be built on Foothill Boulevard. However, the South Coast Air Quality Management District says that the project contained issues regarding the possible effect on the environment. Truck and van deliveries are the main focus as tailpipe fumes would be overall increased, which brings a concern to possible cancer health issues. Heather Krosner, Vice President at Bridge Development Partners, said in a statement, this project is 1.92 incidences of cancer. That is well below the 10 incidences per million. It is a minuscule percent. In other news, Molly Bruce, owner of the well-known breakfast and lunch restaurant, Molly's Super, has been sold to her manager, De Los Santos, the new owner, has been on staff for a loyal 20 years. And Bruce said, when asked about De Los Santos, it was important to me that it go to someone who understood it and didn't want to change it. So the ownership is definitely going into good hands. Did you lose something here at school? There will be a lost and found rack out on display Monday through Friday in front of J209. That is J209 across from the cafeteria during lunchtime. 
Hurry, as all lost and found items will be donated April 30th. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Camarina in J209. And that will do it for this week's news broadcast. I'm Melissa Gishnard, and from all of us here at UTV, have a Highlander day.